Popper, I guess it's pretty tricky conditions, pretty changeable conditions as well with the wind and showers passing over. I mean, are you satisfied to come away with a point or do you feel like you've maybe left two points out there? No, I think, um, you know, the conditions were tough, but I think the hardest part was the heavy pitch. And I think the, the weather was, was an issue. But uh, the pitch was extremely heavy, which um, was uh, quite difficult for us considering we played Friday night. It's like two and a half days between games. Uh, so when you assess all that and Brisbane having nine, ten days between the, the games, uh, I thought the players were excellent. You know, to come back, uh, we had a great chance after we equalised, which I think changes the whole game. Um, yeah, very, very proud of the group, you know, what they're, what they're doing at the moment. You talk about that turnaround. I mean, I think if I've done my maths right, you've got 17 from 21 points so far this month. You've still got another game to go in April. I mean, how, how proud have you been of the way that the group has just kept going through the schedule? Yeah, I think t today was our toughest test, you know, with the short turnaround and the, and the real heavy conditions. Um, players found it difficult out there today. You could see that, you know, we didn't have our usual um, sharpness, you know, on and off the ball, but, uh, you know, the, the, but the players are, are growing in a, in a mentality which uh, showed as well today. You know, at 1-0, um, you know, we, we were struggling physically and, uh, you know, we came back and had the chance of the game to make it 2-1. And then at the end, you know, you can see we're fatigued, we're making some errors at the back in terms of our passing. Um, yeah, a fantastic point under the circumstances. So, uh, very happy with the group. Uh, I guess probably, I mean, probably makes Premiership a little bit out of reach now given mm. where you sit within relation to the other teams. Was that, uh, was that ever really a focus or were you just concerned about taking it game by game? Well, we've been going game by game and controlling what we can. And if that opened the door uh, to catch the, front, uh, the top two, well, then it opens that door. But, uh, you yeah, know, we're, we're 13 undefeated. Um, we've come away with four points away from home in two and a half days. I'm still baffled by the scheduling that we have to play today at 2 o'clock. Um, but the players show, have shown how far they've come. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll recover. They're, they're a bit disappointed, but, you know, they shouldn't be. And I'm sure tomorrow we get home tonight, we can recover at home in our own beds uh, with family. And then, you know, tomorrow we'll start preparing for Wellington, which is our last home game of the season. So. Yeah, we want to finish on a high and, and recover well from these t difficult two games. I guess um, you talk about that scheduling. Do you feel like, given especially the fact that you guys have had to go through such a hectic April, that it perhaps shouldn't have been you that had to play the game on this day? No, the, the problem's not with the... If we're playing today, we should be playing in the evening. We should have more time to recover. You know, we've, we haven't had three days, 72 hours to recover. So... Um, and it's another away game, and you, you put that on top of the uh, heavy pitch. Um, you know, maybe last year and the year before, we probably don't get a result here. You know, that's, that shows how far, especially once you go down. You know, when you, in these conditions, if you can score first, it helps. Um, credit to Brisbane, they play with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, they're aggressive, um, you know, they're fresh. And, uh, and they scored first, which is always tough away from home, uh, considering how we're feeling. But, you know, we came back and, uh, and we had the chance of the game to, to go in front and probably win the match. So, yeah, put the result aside, um, extremely proud of the group, very proud. And just one last one from me, obviously, Spiranovic missing the game after sort of coming off early against MacArthur. Is that just a precautionary one in terms of it's just too soon a turnaround for him? Yeah, it was too soon for him. He, he wouldn't have played this game regardless uh, of the injury. Um, it would have been too soon for him to play two games in two and a half days. Um, but, you know, we're confident that he'll be available on Friday. Okay. Oh, Papa, good day, mate. Just, I, I, I basically covered it all then. Just the um, chance that you made was the uh, rail has, this, the right, sorry, the right, the Rojas chance, you know, I guess uh, it was a good save, but I like to keep it, but we expected him to like finish that. Well, you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I'm sure Marco expected to finish it, but you know, <laughs> it's not, it's not easy to score goals. And uh, that's the hardest thing to do on the pitch. Um, we created a wonderful chance. Marco made a great run and 
Uh, you know, he's been great for us uh, in this last period, and today, unfortunately, he couldn't get us um, at that goal. But you know, come Friday, you know, I'm confident if Marco gets a chance, he'll set one up for us or he'll score a goal. So um, these things happen. Credit to the keeper; he made a good save, but. Um, again, it just shows how far we've come that we equalise and we have the chance of the game uh, soon after. No worries. Thanks, Papa. Thank you. Thanks, Papa. Thanks. Done. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you.